and Semerara Mining and Power Corporation. A blessed Sunday, dear brothers and sisters. We welcome everyone as we celebrate the holy sacrifice of the Mass the fourth Sunday of Lent, or the Leitare Sunday, with the theme, Praise the Lord for the Light of Faith. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word, SVD, brings to you this Eucharist, Eucharistic celebration at the Sanctuary of the Divine Word Chapel of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word, Christ the King Mission Seminary, E. Rodriguez Senior Avenue, Quezon City. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Bell San Luis, SVD, Executive Producer of Family TV Mass. And as one community and family gathered in Christ, let us all begin our Eucharistic celebration. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So good day brothers and sisters, those who are uh, watching us on uh, television. 
and also those who are joining us in the live streaming. So um, we come together again to pray, uh, especially during this season of Lent. Alam niyo itong uh, aking suot ngayon ay uh, pink. Bakit pink? Um, hindi po yung ka-pink noong uh, election, no? Uh, kundi uh, pink ay uh, it uh, signifies uh, the color of joy. The color of joy because uh, we are now in the middle of uh, Lent, the Lenten season. And at the same time, it is also the color of joy because in spite of our failings, our sins and transgressions, that uh, our Lord has always been uh, very uh, compassionate, um, forgives us our failings and our sins. Kaya ito ang uh, ibig sabihin ito, our light of faith, our light of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is merciful and compassion. As we are about to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord to remove from our hearts all that prevents us from living in the radiance of His grace. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through your word reconciled the human race to yourself in a wonder way, grant, we pray, that with prompt devotion and eager faith, that with prompt and the Christian people may hasten toward the solemn celebrations to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. The Lord said to Samuel, fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem, for I have chosen my king from amongst his son. As Jesse and his son came to the sacrifice, Samuel looked at Eliab and thought, surely the Lord's anointed is here before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not judge from his appearance or from his lofty stature because I have rejected him. Not as man sees does God see, but man sees the appearance, but the Lord looks into the heart. In the same way, Jesse presented seven sons before Samuel, but Samuel said to Jesse, the Lord has not chosen any of this. 
Then Samuel asked Jesse, Are this all the sons you have? Jesse replied, There is still the youngest who is tending the sheep. Samuel said to Jesse, Send for him. We will not begin the sacrificial banquet until he arrives here. Jesse sent and had the young man brought to them. He was ruddy, a youth handsome to behold, and making a splendid appearance. The Lord said, There, anoint him, for this is the one. Then Samuel, with the horn of oil in hand, anointed David in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff, that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Leave as children of light, for light produces every kind of goodness and righteousness and truth. Try to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in fruitless works of darkness. Rather, expose them. For it is shameful even to mention the things done by them in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible. For everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore, it says, Awake, O sleeper, and rise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man blind from birth. He spat on the ground and made clay with his saliva and speared the clay on his eyes and said to him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which meant sent. So he went and washed and came back, able to see his neighbors and those who had seen him earlier. As a beggar said, isn't this the one who used to sit and beg? Some said, it is. But others said, no, it just looks like him. He said, I am. They brought the one who was once blind to the Pharisees. 
Now Jesus had made clay and opened his eyes on the Sabbath. So then the Pharisees also asked him how he was able to see. He said to them, He put clay on my eyes, and I wash, and now I can see. So some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God, because he does not keep the Sabbath. But others said, How can a sinful man do such things? And there was a division among them. So they said to the blind man again, What do you have to say about him, since you opened your eyes? He said, He is a prophet. They answered and said to him, You were born totally in sin, and are you trying to teach us? Then they threw him out. But when Jesus heard that they had thrown him out, he found himself and said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? He found him, and he answered and said, Who is he, sir, that I may believe in him? And Jesus said to him, You have seen him, and the one speaking with you is he. He said, I do believe, Lord, and he worshiped him. The brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, the brothers and sisters, uh, we are now in the uh, fourth Sunday of Lent, and um, this is another opportunity again for us to uh, uh, think of uh, our uh, uh, shortcomings, our uh, sins, and also that uh, there be uh, um, renewal or conversion of our sins, because after all, we are all sinners. Now, um, the gospel today um, is uh, about the blind man. You have heard that the blind man wants to see, because he was blind ever since he was, uh, he was a child. And so, um, <clears throat> Uh, our Lord, uh, out of compassion or mercy, uh, he uh, uh, healed the, the boy. Pero alam nyo, no, nakita yung mga fariseyo. Yung mga fariseyo po ay ito yung mga Jewish uh, priests uh, during the time of our Lord. But uh, these uh, Pharisees, uh, they uh, did not accept Jesus Christ. And uh, the reason is uh, that uh, they hated our Lord because uh, he was saying that he was the Son of God. And then, uh, sinabi pa, na uh, dahil uh, he broke the Sabbath by curing on a Sabbath day this blind man. I uh, have this... Uh, a picture uh, showing our Lord Jesus Christ here um, healing the eyes of uh, this uh, poor, poor man over here. And then dito naman po, uh, nakikita ninyo na itong mga lalaki o mga taong ito ay nagagalit sa ginagawa ng ating Panginoon. So these are the Pharisees. Ito yung mga uh, gustong uh, um, na, sa, sinasabi na hindi tama yung ginagawa ng ating Panginoon that during Sabbath, para bang yung Sunday natin, pero sa kanila, Sabado. No? Eh, nobody should be uh, working, uh, including, you know, even healing or uh, helping a poor man who is blind. So, a 
our Lord said, um, no, it is allowed to heal. It is allowed for, to do charity, even on the Sabbath. So ito ang sinasabi ng mga pariseyo at uh, ito po ang uh, uh, sinasabi na mali kayo, mga pariseyo, mga, uh, mga pari, at hindi tama yung ginagawa ninyo. So, this is one of uh, the things that uh, our Lord didn't like from this uh, uh, Jewish uh, leaders at the time. Now, in our life also, um, our Lord wants us to accept uh, the uh, uh, teachings of our Lord and that uh, not only to accept, but also to accept our faults, our sins, and our weaknesses. So, um, <clears throat> I remember somebody uh, said a story about uh, a priest. Kora paroko nakita na yung kanilang sakristan ay nangungupit ano doon sa collection no so nangungupit at hindi lamang yan ay umiinom ng yung alak doon sa sakristi. No, kaya tinawag niya yung kanyang sakristan. Punta ka nga dito, sabi niya, at mangumpisal ka. Oh. So, pumunta sila doon sa kumpisalan at uh, sabi niya, ay Jose, uh, oh, ano ba mga kasalanan mo? Oh, Father, sabi niya, uh, ako po ay um, um, uh, kung minsan ay uh, nagmumura ako at uh, Father, kung minsan nagsisinungaling ako at uh, mga iba pang mga kasalanan ang kanyang sinabi. Ngayon, sabi ng kura para ko, ay uh, anak, sabi niya, ay may nakakalimutan ka, no? Uh, uh, walang sumasagot, ano? Hindi sumasagot, no? So, uh, sabi ng kura paro ko, ay anak, sabi niya, uh, pwede bang, kuan, wala, uh, wala, wala kang hindi uh, tahimik? Bakit tahimik ka? Magpalitan uh, nga tayo ng lugar, sabi niya. Ako naman ang pupunta doon sa labas. No? Oh. Eh, uh, sinabi naman ng uh, kanyang um, sakristan, father, sabi niya, bakit uh, Sampung taon na akong nagtatrabaho uh, dito ay hindi mo pa ako binigyan ng uh, uh, sapat na uh, sweldo, sabi niya. Alam mo, tumakbo yung pare palabas, sabi niya. Ay, Brad, sabi niya, totoo pala. Wala akong naririnig doon sa, uh, doon sa, loob, <laughs> doon sa loob ng kumpisalan. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, this is uh, just... Uh, on um, parable, uh, but it shows that uh, um, we do not want as much as possible to accept our sins or our faults. And that is why sometimes it's very difficult to make a confession. But anyway, dear brothers and sisters, ang gusto sabihin ng ating Panginoon that yung mga uh, uh, that we should not be blind to our sins. We should not be blind to our, uh, to our faults and our shortcomings because this will somehow uh, make your Christian life and also even your physical life uh, weaker and it may not uh, be good for you uh, physically and uh, spiritually. Now, the other is uh, that yung ating mga rituals during the Holy Land, I, uh, we should also uh, not only uh, do something good, but then at the same time, eh, hindi naman uh, gagawin yung uh, masama ng mga rituals natin 
during Lenten season. Maalala ko yung isang uh, uh, pare na uh, pauwi uh, sa kanyang konvento at dumaan siya sa isang eskinila. Medyo madilim na. Ngayon, anong uh, malapit na siya doon sa pintuan, ay bigla na lamang may uh, binata na lumapit sa kanya. Sabi niya, Oh, give me your wallet. Give me, bigay mo ako sa inyong wallet. Uh, natakot siya. Kasi uh, mayroong, mayroong uh, knife, ano, patalim na nasa tagiliran. Um, <clears throat> sabi ng pare, ay anak, uh, ako po ay uh, yung pare dito sa konvento at uh, ako'y pauwi na. Sabi nga nun. Ay yung lalaki, yung hold upper, ay bigla na lamang uh, binasok yung uh, patalim. Oh, fathers, sorry, sabi niya. Uh, hindi ko akalain na ikaw pala ay pare. Eh uh, ngayon, para dumamig yung kanilang ba, uh, uh, katawan, uh, ay naglabas ng pare yung sigarilyo. No? sigarilyo. At sabi niya, O Brad, um, magsigarilyo tayo, no? Cool ka lang, sabi niya. E ngayon, sabi nung uh, um, itong hold upper, Ay, Father, hindi mo ba alam? Panahon ng kwaresma, hindi ako nagsisigarilyo, sabi niya. <laughs> so, 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 yun, wala. Yun, wala. so, this is what uh, we also mean, that when we go to confession, or when we try to Uh, renew over life and to us uh, forgiveness from the Lord ay hindi naman yung sama na uh, gagawin ko itong mabuti pagkatapos hindi ko naman gagawin ng isa. So dear brothers and sisters, let us open our eyes, our minds and pray for uh, conversion at tuluyang pagbabago. Siyempre, nagbabakslide tayo. Alam din ang mga ako na ito, uh, couples na members ng marriage encounter. Hindi ba na, na nagbabakslide din yung mga, uh, <laughs> yung mga members ng mga uh, marriage encounter? Yes or no? Huwag kayong magsinungaling. Oh, oh, oh. Of course, uh, kasi dahil tayo ay tao lamang, we are imperfect. We will have our sins, mga kasalanan. Pero ang uh, napaka-importante ay yung ating pagbabago. Kaya um, pwede ba sabihin natin, tignan natin ang ating mga katabi at sabihin ninyo, pati na rin itong sinadyong at saka yung mga kasama dyan, sabihin sa kanya, Kwaresma, magbago ka na. Yan, magbago ka na. O. Yan. Yung mga iba nakatingin sa akin eh. <laughs> eh, siyempre magbabago din ako, no? Lahat tayo ay magbabago. So, our Lord, again, in this uh, uh, beautiful illustration, is telling us that uh, we should uh, accept our failings and our sins. And like the Pharisees who uh, were against our Lord, uh, who should be their savior, but uh, they were his enemies. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one, one God, God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the, by the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, 
He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Today, the Word of God reminds us to the indispensable role of Jesus in our lives and of our duty to live as children of the light. Aware of our weakness, let us ask the help of God's grace for ourselves and all those who are dear to us. Let our response be, Lord, strengthen in us the light of faith. Lord, strengthen in us the light of faith. For the universal church, God's family on earth, may she faithfully accomplish her mission of being the light of all nations by her faithfulness to the teaching of Christ. We pray. Lord, Lord strengthen Lord, in Lord, us strength the light the of faith. faith. For all parents and educators, may they edify their children and students with their good example and strengthen them with their brave condemnation of all aberrations in our society. We pray. Lord, Lord strengthen in us, us the, light the light of, of faith. faith. For our youth and all those who dream of a better world, may they realize that their aspirations can become a reality only by remaining faithful to the gospel of Christ. We pray. Lord, strengthen, strengthen in us, us the, light the light of faith. Of faith. For the birthday thanksgiving of Ernesto Pasqua and Fer Buen Viaje, for the family thanksgiving prayer of Malu Agkawili, Claire Esguerra, Maria Cristina Samano, Rico and its Pablo and family, and Liwayway, Mascardo, and family. For the healing of Angelo Tomas, Avelino Ligaspi, Janris Antiola, Grace Bautista, Dennis, Linda, and Jean Hara Redoblado, and Stella and Gerardo Candas. For the special intentions of Grace Aquino, R.N. and Maria Alita Rodriguez. For the first death anniversary prayer for Leticia de la Merced, and for the eternal repose for the souls of Dominador, Deborah, Gaudencio and Ruth Cabato, Renato Leiva, and Tomas Hizol. We pray. Lord, strengthen in us the light of faith. I include the following, Lita Ilano, Rosi Suntai, Joe Valencia, Maria Anita Alano, Bernadette Dirbalie, uh, Thelma, and uh, also the Palma uh, family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, strengthen in us the light of faith. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. You are the light of our lives. Enlighten our minds that we may see the splendor of your truth, beauty, of our hearts, that we may love it and strengthen our wills, that we may live in it. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sober sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We place before you with joy these offerings, which bring eternal remedy, O Lord, praying that we may both faithfully revere them and present them to you as is fitting for the salvation of all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By the mystery of the incarnation, he has led the human race that walked in darkness into the radiance of the faith and has brought those born slavery to ancient sin. Through the waters of regeneration, to make them your adopted children. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and with all the host of angels cry out and with one voice acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, that by, <clears throat> by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered in the one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Monesto, uh, the clergy, and all your faithful people gathered here in our Mass, and those who are uh, joining us in our live streaming. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the lights of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed uh, the Apostles, and all the saints, and our Saint Arnold Jensen, and Joseph Renadimitz, our pioneer SVD saints. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Now, dear brothers and sisters, let us pray together the prayer Christ our Lord taught us. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Before the uh, offering of uh, our uh, um, <clears throat> sign of peace, let us uh, also remember that um, to pray for peace in the world, especially uh, the war between Ukraine and uh, Russia. I hope po ay uh, uh, matapos na at may tigil na itong uh, napakahabang gera more than one year already. Then we pray also for uh, our country and uh, that there will be uh, less uh, violence and killings. Um, and then, of course, yung ating mga pamilya is very important that uh, we should try always to be forgiving. So, uh, dear brothers and sisters, let us now uh, offer to one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you, brothers, peace be with you. Oh, peace be with you, peace, peace be with you. Thank you. 
Brothers and sisters, this is our Lord Jesus Christ in the form of bread and wine. He gives himself as our spiritual nourishment. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Prayer for the unity of the family. God our Father, loving and merciful, bring together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support. Infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pettiness far from them and their occasional failures, instill forgiveness and peace. May the mutual love and affection of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their charity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. Instill in children such self-respect that they may respect others, obey their parents, and those in authority, and grow in mature independence and the tender joy of friendship. Make the mutual affection and respect of families a sign of a Christian life, here and hereafter, through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Let's pray. O God, who enlightens everyone who comes into this world, illuminate our hearts, we pray, with the splendor of your grace, that we may always ponder what is worthy and pleasing to your majesty and love, you in all sincerity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, Please be seated for the acknowledgement. And um, <clears throat> first, I would like to thank the um, Director of Christ the King Seminary, uh, Reverend Father Glenn Paul Gomez, SVD, and uh, our uh, seminarian uh, prefect. Uh, siya po ang in charge ng mga uh, seminarista dito sa Christ the King. The Reverend Father Sherwin Tristan Arumin, SVD. But um, acknowledge also the services of our commentator, Sister Joe Ragos. So, thank you, Sister Joe. Then, uh, ang lector naman si Sister Grace Bautista. Over here. Uh, I, over here, yes. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Then, uh, of course, our server, uh, seminarian of Christ the King Seminary, Christian Bisande. Thank you. Thanks to our sponsors, our donors, and benefactors, to our televiewers and uh, online audience, and to the seminary staff and personnel. A special thanks also uh, to uh, our couple, uh, family, uh, si, uh, Sir Rico and Mrs. Uh, Nitz uh, Pablo, the family, kasama nila. 
with the child. Uh, yes. And, um, <coughs> well, sila po ay uh, uh, sponsor family sa uh, uh, Seven Last Words on uh, April uh, April uh, 7. You know? Yes, yeah, 7. So, uh, um, manood po kayo at uh, pagnilayan ang ating Seven Last Words which we have been uh, showing uh, every uh, every year no at dito sa uh, ating uh, ipapalabas dito sa ating pong uh, uh, Christ the King uh, church um uh, from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock in the afternoon then every uh, <clears throat> Thursday uh, evening at 6 o'clock um, we have the uh, uh, weekly devotion to St. Jude to the youth, live streaming at the Aziz and Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word YouTube channel. And then um, appeal for Adopt a Seminarian Scholarship Program. Ito po yung appeal namin na <clears throat> paghingi uh, po ng uh, tulong para sa mga seminarians, lalong-lalo na po yung mga uh, nahihirapan sa mga pamilya o mga sawa. Dahil uh, um, alam naman natin na uh, there is uh, uh, really um, very few uh, seminarians who are studying. So there is a shortage of the number of uh, uh, students and that is why uh, we are asking that uh, we help them not only uh, uh, sp spiritually uh, but also uh, financially. So, kung may gusto pong uh, mag-donate or tumulong sa mga seminarians, um, you can uh, send uh, through my uh, account. Uh, Number at bank, Banco de Oro, uh, BDO. Your account number is 000 5123. And account name, Father Isabella San Luis. Ako po yan. At yung email, bellsvd at gmail.com. Well, this is anyway posted. Uh, on our screens, you know. And appeal also for um, love offerings and intentions. You may send to your prayer intention or thanksgiving, healing, good health, financial recoveries, and blessings for other intentions. And email at mcfisvd at gmail.com. So contact... Uh, the person for TV Mass and Adopt a Seminarian, si uh, Brian N. De Guito, uh, at 0961-811-8766. So si Brian De Guito, uh, please uh, uh, put also the uh, one of Brian para makilala. Anandiyan na pala. Oo. So, uh, dear brothers and sisters, Again, also nga pala ay pahabol na kung makakatulong din tayo dito po sa aming presentation ng uh, uh, seven last words, ay, uh, we would be uh, very much appreciative if uh, you can also help us by uh, uh, giving or sending uh, donations for our seven last words, and that will be on April 7. Thank you, and God bless you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us now go to love the Lord and one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.
The Family TV Mass was offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Semirara Mining and Power Corporation.